Hello everyone, welcome back to sp6.net. Today we are going to explore Index TV. Index TV is solution for offline browser storage. And whatever I am going to tell you here is easily available on w3.org. So I would recommend that please visit on w3.org for more and deep uh, APIs documentation because everything is available there. So whatever we are going to describe here. So if we talk about Index TV, initially we had cookies to store some textual data inside the browsers. Whereas later on in the modern browsers, we got many more stories like session stories, local stories and web sequels. So the session stories and local stories had limitation to store the data up to 5 MB. Now later on web sequels come up in the figures and we had tendency to store about 20 MB of data. And now as web sequels been deprecated, so Index TV provides a solution to store offline data and it doesn't have limitations and we can store huge amount of data in, in, inside Index TV. So if we talk about the browser support, almost all the latest browser supports Index TV features. You can see in the graph how Index TV being used by the browsers. Now, first of all, I would like to tell you that Index TV is not a Renaissance database and it doesn't provide the structured query language like SQL and Oracle. Because it is no SQL, it's contain the data in forms of key and value pairs. Yes, it provides the facility to provide faster fetch and search based on the indexed data. And interesting thing is that the database also support the versioning. So it's provide a solution in such a way that if we have two tables and later on we will decide that for this applications there should be five tables then later on we can add three more tables. And it's very easy. We'll tell you how it is in a small demo. So first of all, we should know the terms which IndexedDB use which is database is directly uh, related with the database as the database is available in RDBMS and DBMS. I think everyone is familiar with the database. Now the second thing is object storage. Object store is directly proportional to tables of the database. But here the object stores is named as because it contains only objects with key values. So the key could be object and value could be object. Now it also provides the indexing features and it has operations like curl and it also support the transaction that provide the facility to read, modified and write operation with consistency in trade safe and it also provides the cursor to iterate over the object. The basic keywords which have been used in index TV is index TV, open functions, create object store, put to insert, delete to delete, clear to clear all the data, get all to get all the data, get, get the data with specific key. So we can see that all those keywords is almost related with the database of the SQL where index TV is directly proportional to SQLs, open is the functions which is used to open the database as we had in .NET, create object store is same as the creation of table put is directly proportional to insert statements delete for delete statements clear for truncate get all for select state get with where clause so now if we talk about the wrapper we can find the many more wrappers available these days uh, i went through a few of them and i got to know that it would be better if we will write our own based on the requirements and that is why I have created one simple wrappers and I will explore in this demo and you can find that wrappers code on GitHub uh, in my account RajKRS. So I will just share this link into the description. You can easily find the example on the GitHub. Now just moving into the project which is available there in GitHub. So this is the simple index TV JS. So I have created with a simple project index TV and 
as I have used .NET. So you do not have to worry about the .NET and PHP and the Java language. Simply have to look into these two folder. CSS contain the CSS. It's not mandatory for the better layout. I just used it. We just have to focus on index.tv.js. The code is available here. And the implementation of this wrapper in index.html. So as in wrapper, you can see that I have simply created one ITV object and inside this object is provide facility of versionings. It contains the table names. It provides the facility to init the database. It also provides the facility to insert and delete and select. You can easily explore one by one on the examples which I have shared on GitHub. So I am just going to show you the implementation of these things. So index.html. Here you can see we just have to add the reference of index.db.js and now with a simple configuration. So db.init functions provide facility to create the database. So first of all, I am going to change the version. So initially the database version would be one and I think that there should be two tables. So first of all, one thing I would like to clear here that the table terms is not available in index TV, but I am using it for the simplicity so that many of us who have the good experience of IDBMS like SQL Server, MySQL and Oracle can easily understand that what we have to do with these. So the tables contain the objects with name, key path is the key and based on it we are going to store the object in the table. So as soon as we will execute this initialization scripts very first times, automatically it would create one database or text and two tables, one question and second test. How? Let's see. So I'm just going to click on. Yes, now you can see. Where the index TV been created or creates to know it, we just have to go to right click inspect and inside the application. And now here you can see for the storage, we have local storage, session storage, index TV, web sequels. So we have to go to index TV and now you can see the O text database been created. And with O text, we have two tables, question and test. For the questions, key path ID being generated and for the test, key path ID being generated. Now we can delete it by here, simply clicking on delete database. And again, to check it that how this works, I'm just going to replace it. As soon as I replace it, the init function called and it's created the question and the test table inside the otest with version one database. Now, moving towards the insertion of data, as you can see that I have created one function add one data. If we have to store only one object, so I'm going to add one question. So with title Q1, mark 3 and ID1, I'm trying to add one data. So add one data in question tables. I just click on add one data in question tables and as soon as I will verify the questions. So you can see one message, data may be still. So I replaced it and you can see Q1, mark 3 and ID is inserted. Looking towards the console, I can verify that the questions created, test created, but I haven't seen any message that the data been inserted. So to get such kinds of facility, we have also callback functions with the insert function. So it supports callback on success and error. So now I have created one function in which I have to add two questions at the same time. And also, I want to track that it's been inserted or not. So I just going to add these two array objects inside the question tables. And for this, we have one callback functions and it have two arguments. One is inserted and second one is response text. And I am trying to log this into console. So now, as soon as I will click on add multiple questions table. So in application and index TV questions, 
I just click on add multiple data in question tables and again you can see data may still and just refresh it and you can see that I have added two equations at the same time and looking into the console you can see we have new two logs available here with true and two record inserted so it's so simple so you can see how easily we can create database tables and inside the tables we can add one value and we can add multiples value now how if we want to delete one data with one key so we have facility to delete one questions and for this i have created one function delete it will take key path as argument and again it supports callback so as soon as i will click on delete one question so you can see data may still again and as soon as i will replace it you can see one records been deleted again for the multiple one we have to pass two key path in the argument and it also support callback and now if i will click on delete multiple questions you can see after replace all the data being deleted now i want to explore the fetch functions unfortunately we have deleted all the data here so i am just going to add it by using add one data and add multiple data so now the questions have one two three three data levels now if we want to fetch only one data by using key path then we have select function with idb dot select we can get key path with callback and if i am telling that it supports callback means it provide the facility to do further any more operation based on these insertions selections and deletion and now you can easily identify those logs available here in console so you can use based on your requirement now to fetch one data i just click on get one data and now you can see the one data based on one key path id it's available here in console for the multiple question data again it's so simple we just have to pass the key path with select function and it support the callback and now we want to store these response data into the log so i'm going to click on get multiple question data as soon as i clicked on it and i found that two data been logged with id 2 and 3 now if we want to fetch all the data we just have to click on get all data and now you can see all the questions with id 1 2 and 3 been logged here so it's very simple it's very simple to use in dash db you can easily use these things in your application one things i have forgotten to tell you that how it support versioning so initially we have one question table and second test tables later on if there would be requirements that there should be one result table so what should we do we just have to copy this object paste this object and just have to change the name of this test and the key path is test id i just saved it and again refresh the page but looking into application we'll see that still the test database have only two data table for it we have to change the version and as soon as i change the version now just refreshing it you can see that we have now original table available with key path test id later on if we will decide that the result should be result test we can rename it and we just have to change the version of the database as soon as we will refresh it and we can see that the result test is available here with renamed now again if we want that we should remove the result test what should i do simply i would go through this init configuration will remove it and will change the version of the database so now you can see the test result has been removed interesting thing is that in the question still we will have all the data until unless we will not rename it we will not delete it the data would be available here so it's very simple 